Hello and welcome to my channel. Today we're doing an easy expandable binding. So I like to use this binding for like my standalone journal pages, my index cards, whatever it may be. Um, so you start with a 12 by 12 and you cut that in half. So you get a 6 by 12 piece of paper should have put that on here um, so you just need a 6 by 12 piece of paper and then you're going to take your scoreboard and you're going to score that at every half inch all the way across and this is sped up I think um, by one so and then I speed it up by like six so you just score it and then I like to score on the other side as well. And this is because you're doing an, an accordion fold after this. So this way, whether you're folding left or right or up or down or peak or valley, it's all been scored. So it's a lot easier and you get a straighter um, fold, I think, by having it um, scored on both sides. So go ahead, do your accordion fold. So you flip, fold, flip, fold, flip, fold. So far it's pretty easy, huh? Flip, fold, flip, fold, flip, fold. All right, so you get that accordion fold going and then you get your double-sided tape. And you're gonna start with a valley fold so that it will fold up. And you put your tape close to the edge and you do it every other panel basically and I'm showing you here so you continue to do that all the way across every other fold and like I said I try and get it close to the score line um, but it's, you, you don't have to, I, it's just as long as it adheres, right? So then you want to flip it and then, uh, basically burnish down your tape. Now this is optional. <clears throat> I like to, I like to use glue and tape as combination. Um, so what I do is I take my glue when I finally get it to work, I put it on the opposite panel and then I fold it over and then burnish it. Okay, so you take the piece of paper off of the tape, you put the glue on the opposite side, and then you put the tape to the glue. You're not, I know that this looks kind of confusing the way it looks. It looks like I'm flipping and, and actually putting that leading edge on there, but I'm not. I'm folding up and over. And I think I show you a close-up of that. And I left this at normal speed the whole time um, so you could see what I'm doing. So I think this is about where I do it. So I remove the tape. I put glue on the opposite panel. And then I, full, I basically push that valley or that peak up and fold it over. Yeah, I hope it's... I hope, yeah, I think it looks or sounds a lot more confusing, but once you do it, you'll understand. Um, once you try it, you'll understand how it works because you'll just be able to see. So like I said, I remove the tape. I put glue on the opposite panel. So on the next panel over, if I can remove the tape, on the next panel over, I use my fingers and I create that peak fold and then fold them together. So the tape meets the glue. Tape, glue, fold the, the, the peak and adhere and burnish. Remove the tape, add the glue, create that peak fold and then you burnish. And you essentially do that all the way across. And this one, you might be able to see it really well. So you have one panel left. So I remove it. I 
put the glue down and then I just fold it up actually and then burnish it. So essentially your binding's done. But what I like to do is I like to pre-tape, I guess, all the tabs. So what I'm going to show you is basically take some double-sided tape and you're just going to add it to every one of the tabs. And each one of these tabs, each side where you're putting the tape, that's where a page is going to go. So I like to do this right when I'm creating it because I already have my tape out and I don't want to have to grab it or find it when I'm trying to add a page. But that's, it's completely optional. It's however you like to work. If you want to wait and add your tape as you go, it's perfectly fine. But I'm a messy crafter and I can very rarely find my double-sided tape. I found it this time because I found it ahead of starting the recording. <laughs> and it took me a while. <laughs> Alright, so speeding it up because this is pretty straightforward. Just put some tape on each side. And I say it's pretty straightforward, but I actually end up skipping one. And I go back and I find it. Yep, here's where I found it. Okay, so now your binding is actually complete and ready to use. So now I'm going to show you how I add a cover. So this is a journal that I have a cover, and you can see that I've taken the first tab of the binding, I've glued it to the cover, and then I've taken a strip that matches the covers cover and I've glued that strip down to the cover. Hopefully you can see that. And I show you on the other side what I did as well. So I took the last strip, I glued it to the cover, and then I took another strip of paper and I glued it over that, that tab that I glued to the cover. So now I'm going to show you basically the other remaining pages that I have available that I stick pages to. And so in this journal, this is actually a, a journal that I've created um, that I trade pages with with a friend of mine. And so that first or that last section, you'll see that the pages are separate, but in the others, I've glued the pages together. So it's a single page. I just haven't glued those other ones together yet. And then I've made this cover and the, yeah. So now I'm going to show you my index card journal. Um, so every week we make a index card that we keep and we're, we receive prompts for that. Um, in the Facebook group. So what I'm showing you here is that I've got a binding. So one of those that I created that I've already used all of the pieces of and I've attached a second binding like I just made to that first binding. And that's actually where the attachment happened right there, right at where that page is. And after this, I will show you and forgive the poor, poor camera angles here. Um, but after this, I will show you you know, kind of through the motion of how you would attach that. Like I said, um, you have that second binding now and what I do is I basically adhere a page to each side of the tab. I have pre-made uh, tags that I write down what page or what week number it is, the prompts, and the date that I completed it. And so now I have this fun little journal that I will do. Now, because I'm not sure how big I want to make it, I haven't covered it yet, right? So here I'm going to show you how I add another tab or another binding if, if, if I decide to after I'm done. I mean, this is already going to be kind of a thick journal. 
So I'm not sure if I'm going to continue adding or if I'm going to cover it and, and just have it, you know, the year split in two. But anyhow, you remove the tape and you put some glue on there. You definitely want to add glue on there for that extra adhesion. And then add the tape to the other tab, so the last tab of the last binding. The first tab of the first binding, you want to add your glue. Make sure those pieces are definitely adhere, and then basically just stick them together. So you put them together, and then grab them, and then just basically, um, you know, burnish them with your fingers because it's really hard to burnish them with anything else. And you've extended your journal, and you would just continue to do that. Um, like I said, I haven't covered this yet. I'm not sure how big I'm going to make it, but basically I will and that's it well I hope you enjoyed this and I hope that you'll uh, click on the video below and the playlist and check out some more of my videos have a wonderful evening or day